Okay, so we're gonna do some modifications on a Robot V kit. Uh, this is one of the original Jaws Robotics ones. Um, you get it out of the box, you assemble it, you gotta play with it, and every time you go to play with it, his arm just keeps popping out. Um, what we want to accomplish an articulated arm. So this one is my preferred method because it's extremely strong and it'll just pop right off if you ever need to get it off or if you're playing with it too hard and it won't break. So, bring in this guy. Now, what I'm using today is uh, one of these mobile phone camera sort of tripod y things you just get on eBay, very cheap. Um, you can, if you have a few robot bees, you can do all of them with just one of these. So, essentially, what we want to do is we want to use this board joint here. So we just need those two parts and we're going to fit them here and in here so they'll snap together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chop off this plastic bit here uh, flush with the arm there and we want to keep that so try and do a nice flush cut I'm going to ease off a nice thin bladed saw as well. Not that it's going to matter uh, depending on the length of this bit you're cutting off. Just cut that right through. And you just want to get a, uh, a file with some sandpaper. Just want to make sure that's nice and flat. Um, basically that's prepping for paint because once it's this modification and all that glue on there yeah just want to get that nice and flush now we get these two bits you just cut off and we're going to glue them together that way we can put them aside while the glue dries and carry on with the next step so we're just going to glue that on there, whoop, never getting stuck here. So that's basically it. So, all you've done is cut that off, that glue those together. together. Now, we want to uh, remount this part. So, we get a little Dremel. Sorry about the noise. We're just going to open this hole up as big as we can.
Okay. And that looks. Uh, you want to make sure it's all flush. So, like a tube, you can go straight down and slide along the walls on the inside. So, I just need a little bit more off the bottom. Okay, so we'll do that. Now, oh, need a little bit more there. Just take your time on it because this is an important part. Step. Now we want to fit. What do we want to do? We want to fit this bit, this bit, the socket bit in the arm. So first thing we we'll do is we take off this plastic, like plastic strip around it, and that just comes off pretty easy. Now you will see uh, two indentation lines all the way around. What we want to do. Let's get our little drum sander and or a file or something, sandpaper it off. But you want to just get off um, a couple of layers of this plastic to reduce the size of it. And you just use those lines as a guide. As soon as those lines disappear, you've got to the right dimension. So we'll just spend a couple of minutes or so on this. Try and do it as fast as I can. Right here. So basically, you can see some lines there, and you just want to take those lines off all the way around. I'm just going to do all this in real time. I'm not going to speed it up or anything. It doesn't take very long to do. So just make sure all those lines are up. Okay, so we've got all of those lines off. Now we'll just give it a test fit. Okay, it doesn't fit. Keep going at it. I might actually rim that out a bit more. Let's get that a bit. Test fit. Almost there, almost there. Just a little bit more in here. You want a nice, snug, tight fit. Okay, just do this. Yep. Almost there. Almost there. Yep, and that's what we want. That piece to fit in there, nice and snug. So, next thing we do is, we're going to swap this around. Put this on this side, these are great 
to use actually as the handles as well. So we want to just cut this knob off because we want to keep this bit. We'll cut that off. We just want to cut that knob off. Then we can use this to actually just hold that and then that'll just slip right in there. And that's what we want. So what I will do is, actually, we don't want to do that. We want to get this bit off, because um, this is this step. Okay, a lot of steps involved. So, okay, get it off that. Just take that bit there. Now we're going to apply some super glue just all the way around all the walls and be pretty liberal with it. Don't get crazy with it. Now what you want to do is put it upside down on a flat surface and all you're going to do is press this over this. So what we've done is just popped it inside, pressed it on a flat plate just to keep that flush with that. So that's the first part. Second part is we're going to be getting this part into the actual chest area. So we're just going to put this aside to dry. Um, you can go back and just fill in all this top area and just let the glue uh, soak down there and really fill that up. Uh, you can also just get that tidy up like that and that's pretty much ready to paint. Um, it would look like part was always meant to be there. So we'll move on to the second part. Uh, we come back to this piece because we're going to need this piece and we're going to need this ball part. So we're just going to file this uh, so it's even. Now that's done. We just want to swap our Dremel bit over to like a, a chiseling bit or a grinding bit. And what we basically want to do is just put a bevel on the inside of this. I'll show you what it's like for. So we're just going to bevel this all the way flush to the end there. And I'll show you why uh, we're doing this. So, I'm just going to put a bevel around. I don't know if you can see that, but there's the bevel. Which is basically just going to hug the ball. If you can see, see how it hugs the ball now. Okay, so that step is done. Now what we want to do is we want to take this bit off. So yes, we need this part here. And what we're going to do is just get our snips. And we're going to snip this off. Uh, the reason why what we're trying to do now is if you there's a little tiny knob in there we just want to keep that knob but get rid of the outer casing and that is the part that's going to fit inside this part so we'll just get this off Up. 
give that a bit of a test fit. Oh, and you've got to bring out the inside there. So, the arm, if you don't have a Dremel and you can't get in there, you just keep filing this down until it fits. That should be enough. Yep, and it just snaps right on. I'll just show you that. There's the two halves. And you hear it snap. Oh, maybe it didn't do it this time, but that's basically it. That's what you want. So this part will slide into the other arm, where's, oh, not the other arm, sorry, the chest area, so that'll slide in there, and then once you pull this section off, you're left with the actual um, board joint hanging out. So then you can snap the arm onto the board joint. So, what we'll do is do, get some glue, and we're just going to be liberal again with it, not too much. And that just snaps on there, give it a bit of a twist, so you can actually see the glue squeezing out, and this will give you an incredibly strong join. Okay, so that is that part. Now I have prepared one earlier, if I can find it, and I'm probably not going to find it. I did put it on the table somewhere. Um, okay, over here. So there's one I prepared later. Oh, sorry, earlier. So, same piece. So what we do, um, that's just going to slide in there. Now, what we want to do is we want to pop this into the arm first. It's going to be hard at first. Okay, so that snaps in there, and we're just going to use this as our gauge because now it's up to you, as in how far you want this to stick out. Now I only give it probably about that much, and you just press down here, and it gives you an indication of what kind of uh, movement you want. It's about there, so I'll go about there. Um, you don't want too much sticking out there. Bring that back in there a little bit. Okay, so we want it about that much. So we'll just glue inside again, liberally. And we just get that where we want it. Give that a few seconds. Basically, your articulation joint. Once so that's glued, your arm should. Well, it's not glued yet, but we'll let that glue, uh, the glue dry, and you're left with that. So I just got to continue this two more times. But that is how you articulation to a robot V kit. Um, an original robot V kit, the new ones, the RC ones, they're pretty much exactly the same, but they have that, um, like a beveled edge on it so you can't pop it out, that's fine. Once you, um, you've done all of these steps, it'll be exactly the same thing, you just pop that straight in. It'll actually align it for you. Um, so yeah, try and keep as much as you can if you're using those kits. Okay, hope that helped.